What's up everybody, hey it's Charles, and today I'm gonna to answer the question, not so much a question, but more of a, hey Charles, what was your experience like regarding tech school? This can be a very hot topic for, uh, for a lot of people. There's some people that have some really strong opinions one way or the other, in fact, about tech school. Now, I am going to share my experience with you and some of my thoughts. Whether this is the right move for you or not, is completely your sole choice, but maybe hearing my experience will give you guys some insight on to how I made the decision, the trials that I went through to go, and well, you kind of know what it turned out to be. We know the end, the end of the story, right? We know how the movie ends before it begins. So let's travel back in time to roughly 2002. I was working a really crappy retail job, like 65, 75 hours a week, and making, oh, I guess if you calculated my salary out to an hourly wage, probably about four bucks an hour, maybe. And I hated it, I hated it so much. And I think it's important too to point out that I didn't really grow up a car person. I grew up more of the type of person that liked to tinker with things or take things apart to figure out how they worked and do my best to get them put back together, which you know wasn't always successful. I have this very vivid memory of taking the front wheel off of my bike at maybe four or five, probably five, and riding it around the neighborhood. We, li we lived in a court, so riding it around the court and the front wheel coming off because I didn't tighten it all the way. So I'd always been that kid messing around with stuff like that. And once I got a car, that sort of translated very easily into that, taking parts off my Jeep, refinishing them, putting them back on, uh, doing a little bit of car audio stuff, which was kind of what gave me the bug for working on cars. I had this job, it just sucked so bad, I hated it. And uh, I wanted to do something different. And I had known some guys that had went to UTI, this was, this would have been the Glendale Heights campus, which is now Lyle, Illinois. It's the area I grew up in. I knew a couple guys that worked at CarMax that were in tech school, and they had pretty good things to say about it. You also saw those late night infomercial deals that were not awesome, but you know, they made it sound exciting and cool. So I decided to tour the campus at UTI and got a pretty good feeling about it. It seemed it seemed like it could be a good place and went to try like the next steps of enrollment and then like the big thing was well how are you going to pay for it that was really the roadblock for me initially is how are you going to pay for this i didn't have you know thirty thousand dollars or twenty five thousand dollars i think at the time to just cut a check i worked a crappy retail job and i also didn't have like it was this weird time where i had lived on my own a bit and like According to government financial aid, you're supposed to have your parents' help, and that wasn't a thing. And so it was this whole big convoluted thing. Well, it took me a while before I figured out how to secure a way to pay for school. That ended up being, instead of government subsidized loans, private loans through the school, which if you guys can avoid that, please try and avoid it. It cost me a fortune in interest. I don't even want to think about how many dollars I spent uh, I spent an interest payment. Finally figured it out, and the only way I really could make it work was to get rid of everything, sell everything. I had a 97 Integra GSR, sold it. Didn't have a car for a while. Sold as anything that I could sell and survive on, I sold and survived on. And uh, I did all that to, to be able to pay for, for tech school. This must have been uh, October of 02. I finally got it all straightened out. Started tech school, was definitely undereducated when I started. Like people say tech school is a waste of money, you don't learn anything. For me, it was totally different. I didn't know any of this stuff, right? There were a couple guys in that first few round of classes that that didn't belong there. I, I fully admit that. They knew all that stuff, or at least they made it seem like they knew all that stuff, and their grades really backed it up. I wasn't that dude. I was the one that had to work really hard to study, get up at five, go to class from six to one or six to two, whatever it was, come home, change, and then go to work and work from three to 11 or whatever time I worked. But I worked a full-time job too, and I did all that 
to to pay for for school. I went in probably knowing as little as you could about everything around the car except the electrical part. I I felt that I wasn't an expert. I learned a lot in that first electrical class, but I was comfortable using a multimeter and what voltage was and what current was and what resistance meant. I knew that stuff going in, which was which was pretty helpful. The program I went to was a roughly a year program. All in all, I got a ton of value out of it. I was a horrible, horrible high school student, barely had passed high school, like legit probably shouldn't have passed high school. And it's not because I'm dumb, I just didn't want to be there. I had I had zero interest in in anything that was going on there. So I gave it zero, like very little to zero effort, just enough to get to get out of there. Fast forward to tech school, I missed a 4.0 grade point average by one point on one test. I would have had a 4.0, so I had like a 398, which was really great for me because I, I struggle a lot in, in like a scholastic environment. It was a great experience and I learned so much. That being said, it wasn't perfect. I had, I think, two instructors, morons. Didn't want to be there, clearly could not care an ounce less about the students and what they learned. They were just there because, well, I don't know, like in any job or, you know, any, any position, there's people that just flat out don't belong there. And that was really frustrating because that I felt was like directly taking money out of my pocket and, and cheating me of an experience. So what did I, and I've got this question too. So what did I do about it? Well, I worked harder to make sure that I learned the material that I needed to learn, whether the teacher was going to teach it or not. Kind of the same thing went for guys and girls. It was, let's face it, it was just dudes that were acting this way that would be in class and either be disruptive or the know-it-alls, I know this, I don't need to pay attention. It was the same thing. It was block out what you're going to say, and I'm going to have to work harder now because knucklehead Joe over here is acting a fool. I didn't use it as an excuse of I'm wasting time, I'm wasting money. I didn't use it as an excuse to not be successful. In fact, I used that as a driving factor to be successful. Uh, and I think that was one of the other keys to me really being good at tech school. For me, it wasn't easy. It wasn't, I know all this stuff. I didn't know any of that stuff. And I would have never gotten a job at a dealership, honestly, I would have never even thought, hey, you know what? I should go get a job fixing cars had it not been for tech school. I promise you that. Now, that's a different path than a lot of people. A lot of people that look into becoming a technician want that. That is their path. Their dad or their grandpa or their uncle lived that life. And that wasn't the case for me. You know, my family, blue collar jobs for sure, but never in the automotive arena. So, it was a very different experience for me, and that's why I'm so positive about tech school, because it was such a valuable thing for me, and I learned so much, and that really, you know, it sounds cheesy, that was the foundation of my career, but it was, <laughs> it totally was. I would not have ever thought to get a job in the car industry, minus maybe selling cars, which I did before going to tech school, if I hadn't have gone to tech school. And going to that program with UTI led me to training with Volkswagen, spending time learning specifically VW in 04, right about the time this car came out, actually just before, and that was my career. That's the reason we moved to North Carolina. That's the reason we became involved in all the things that we became involved in. So I look back at that, at that moment of decision of, okay, Charles, it is time to commit to something other than working really suck retail. Yes, for four months or three months, yeah, I think it was four months, my wife, now girlfriend at the time, we shared a car. Uh, it sucked. She got a ride to work in the morning. I drove to school and then I picked her up or I took her to work and then picked her up and brought her home. Whatever we had to do, we did the things we had to do to make it work. And I think that's where a lot of people, they see what it takes. They see it's gonna take me selling everything I have because I have credit card debt or whatever. It's gonna take me living with my mom and dad for another couple of years to make this happen. Guys, it's a blip in time, a blip in time in your life for those sacrifices to make something better for yourself. Yes, it sucked. It sucked sharing a car. It sucked going to school all day and then working a full-time 40 hour a week job that I also hated because it was still in the same retail arena. I still hated it, but it's what it took 
to be able to pay the bills, to be able to pay my student loans right away, which I had to start doing, to be able to save enough money to make these things happen. Then what I did, what I did was I saved enough money so that when I went to the VW Academy, I didn't have to have that job. So I could put everything into VW Academy, everything. It was two full-time jobs for me. My wife worked, we had enough money and saved up from the time where I was working full-time. We didn't, I think she made like 13 bucks an hour. So we weren't crushing it, but we had enough for our apartment. We had enough to pay our car payment and all our bills. And we even had enough to go to the arcade every once in a while and play some air hockey. It was one of the best times in our life because we had no other responsibilities. I just went to school, she just went to work. We were both home by three o'clock. I would study for a couple hours and then we would do whatever. I, I know a lot of you hate on tech school and I get it. So many people have had a bad experience or not themselves personally, but have seen guys and girls come out of tech school who should have never been there in the first place. It's no different than everyone should go to college. There are people that go to college, spend a hundred grand, have no business doing it because mom said they had to, dad said they had to. This is no different. But there are a lot of people that got a lot of value out of that. And I'm not telling you to do it. I'm not telling you not to do it. The truth is I care to the capacity that you do what you want to do. But whether you go to tech school or not does not change the temperature of the air conditioning in my R32, uh, which is off by the way. So, it, or the saying is it doesn't change the temperature of the water in my pool. It doesn't matter to me as long as you're doing the thing you want to do. If you think something is not worth it, look here and here and ask yourself, are you really putting the effort in to make it worth what you're paying for it? Sometimes it's not about the value that's given to you. It's about the value you extract from it. And if you're not, if you're spending 40 grand and you're not extracting that at least back out of it, either you shouldn't have been there to begin with and you made a bad choice, which isn't a big deal, or you're not working hard enough to make sure that that value is there. Forget the crappy instructors, forget the other knucklehead students, you know, knucklehead Joe, forget all that crap. This is about you and making a smart decision for your career, whether that is to or is not to do something like tech school. I wanted to share my experience and, and I get worked up about that because I see so much crap talk about tech schools and my experience was so different that I feel it's important to make sure that you guys know there is there is more than just tech school is a waste of time. I had a great career. I would not be sitting here recording this video, driving home from Florida, if it were not for making that decision. Maybe I'd be a millionaire doing way cooler stuff, or maybe I'd be working that crappy retail job for $27,000 a year working 70 hours a week at a job I hated with people I didn't like, dealing with customers that were awful, awful, awful people. So take that for what it is. Guys, with that, I'm gonna wrap it up. Questions, comments, drop them down below. If you like the video, hit that thumbs up. Follow on all the socials. Hopefully you have checked out the R32 series on my road trip. If not, I'll link that up for sure. Otherwise, thanks for watching. Good luck if you have a tech school, story you'd like to share let's hear it if it's positive cool if it's negative well you know what that's important too so with that i'm out bye bye